Ooh, okay. So, last summer, fresh off of a heartbreak, I was depressed. I was in my room, didn't go out with my friends a lot, you know? And my best friend, George, called me. He said, Vegas. I was like, oh God, you know? I'm not a drinker at all. I can sip on one beer, you know, all night. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a drinker, you know, I'm not like a pass out person. And you know, he kept on saying, it's Vegas. Come on, you know, we're 21, let's go. You know, we can remember this forever, you know what I mean? Okay, let's go. So it's me, George, and six other friends, right? We split like, I think $400 between us for a, a room, two rooms, and an SUV, right? Next week comes, I'm outside, let's go. I'm not even packing my bags, you know what I mean? So I pack my bags, I'm like, oh, shit, what do I bring, what do I bring? Swim trunks, okay. Shirts, all this, right? We get in the SUV, we go flying down the highway, we're going to Vegas now, right? We're bumping all this music, we're joking about the hangover, everything's great, you know what I mean? <laughs> Who's gonna get lost? I don't know. So, the sun's going down, the lights are bright, you know what I mean? We're in Vegas, it's just like the movies, of course. I'm 21 now. We get to the hotel, park, get over our bags, and uh, go to the elevator, to get to our room. We go up one floor, okay? <laughs> <laughs> one floor, I don't know if you guys ever did that to a hotel. It was, you know, I was, uh, you know, a little disappointed. So we go up to one floor, <laughs> we, go, we, get, we reach our two rooms, we kick open the doors, it's Motel 6, you know what I mean? I, I spent $400, you know, so between six people, $400, and it's Motel 6, it's not that great. So, first thing you do after that, we pour the shots. <laughs> it's Vegas, you know what I mean? So I'm drinking a shot. My friend is calling up girls. Apparently, girls that we know from high school are in Vegas as well. That's just trouble, right? <laughs> so what we do is, well, let's rent a limo. Let's meet up at another hotel, right? All right, fine, we do it. Four more shots later, it's a little slow-mo, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time, you know? So somehow, I'm in new clothes. You know, I'm fresh. All my friends are ready to go, right? We leave the hotel. We're going down the strip to another hotel. I'm taking selfies with people I have no idea who the hell they are. I still have the pictures. I, all I remember was yelling out Beaver. I thought I saw Justin Beaver, right? Get to the hotel, get to the limo. All the girls say, well, we're in Vegas. We gotta go to a strip club. I've never been to a strip club, you know? I don't wanna go to a strip club. You know? So what do I do, you know? It's Vegas, right? <laughs> so I get into the limo, I automatically just melt to the floor, right? Another one of my friends, Dylan, he melts to the floor too, right? So all I see, I'm on the floor, all I see is just lights just going Foof, while we're driving, right? We finally reach the strip club. I'm the first one out, and Dylan's right after me. The security guard walks up, goes, ain't gonna happen tonight. I'm like, oh, okay, so I'm just too drunk. I look at Dylan. His eyes are rolled back like that. <laughs> and he's just like, fuck, okay. <laughs> so I start sobering up, right? So me and George go, okay, well, let's take him back, right? We do that, we get a taxi. Me and him are going, we take him back, go to our hotel room, one floor, right? We drop him off, put a garbage bag, you know, by his head, we're the best friends, I know. <laughs> so, and we leave him. <laughs> we went to another club, right? Where Tyga is performing. I'm not a big fan of Tyga, I'm a Kanye guy, but oh. Tyga, you know, it's alright. <laughs> so, we get there somehow, we meet up all our friends, we got VIP box service. I don't know how, you know what I mean? <laughs> We're really close to the stage, lights are going everywhere, music's banging, it's having a great time, you know what I mean? So, um, right that, it's, we don't leave until about 4 a.m. And only me, George, and my other friend Alex leave, right? So it's 4 a.m., we're walking out, and uh, we're crossing the street, hit the button, and it's a red, right? This car pulls up, this lady is outside of the car twerking, right? And it's like a red light, this guy pops out of the passenger seat, he starts crip walking in the middle of the street, right? Light turns green, car takes off, girl's still going, guy's still, you know, crip walking and everything. <laughs> so we're laughing, you know, having a great time. Go back to the hotel, up on floor again, kick open the door, we see Dylan. Uh, he was vomit all over the beds. There's vomit all over the luggage. There's vomit on the TV stand. I don't know what the hell happened, right? <laughs> I go, Dylan, what the fuck? <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> I don't know who that was. That's not me. It was 4 a.m., right? <laughs> Put on brand new shirt, brand new pants, you know, everything. He's in the strip. Let's go. 
I'm like, dude, you're fucking tripping, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. We had to call up a maid and bribe her not to tell the hotel that he vomited on everything, you know what I mean? Like, there's carpet, you know, we see everything. We had to pay a maid $150 to keep her mouth shut a little bit. <laughs> so, but I went down, you know, I was gambling a little bit, won $300, that was pretty cool. You know, came back up, room was nicer than it was. I just fell asleep on the couch. That was only the first time. But, that's it. Thank <laughs> <laughs>